Mr. Lewison. Question 5, sir. Today, the traffic police already requires the use of speed limiters for heavy vehicles. One limitation, however, is that the speed limiters can be tampered with. Between December 2017 and August 2018, traffic police conducted a trial on speed tracking devices to assess if they might be more effective than speed limiters in discouraging heavy vehicle drivers from speeding. TP concluded from the trial that even though the speed tracking devices were accurate in measuring vehicle speed, they were also susceptible to being tampered. They do not therefore confer significant advantages over speed limiters. In addition, the cost to install the speed tracking devices is not low, so TP has decided not to make the speed tracking devices mandatory. But TP will continue to require the, the use of speed limiters in heavy vehicles. Uh, traffic police will continue to monitor the developments of other technologies that can help to discourage speeding and traffic police will also continue to adopt a multi-pronged strategy to getting heavy vehicle drivers to drive safely including strict enforcement and sustained education and engagement. Mr. Yes, sir. I thank SPS for the reply. I think my, my main concern really is that when it's an accident involving the heavy vehicles, the chance of fatality is very high especially for those that are carrying a lot of people in, in the back. And I think we still see them speeding, and I, I think the problem maybe then is of how we're going to tackle uh, the people who are tampering with the speed limiters, and whether SPS or MHA can consider increasing the penalties for uh, those who tamper with the speed limiters. The second SQ is uh, whether MHA will consider installing the speed uh, counters that we have in our military vehicles. And you, you really seldom see the military vehicles speeding, and whether we can consider putting those counters in our heavy vehicles. Thank you for the suggestion. We will study on whether we need to increase the penalties for tampering, but currently the penalties are uh, quite significant. Uh, just to share with the member, the, it is an offence to tamper with a speed limiter installed on a heavy vehicle. First time offenders are li liable for an imprisonment term of up to three months, a fine of 1,000 or both, and this is for first time offenders. And, uh, more severe punishment is meted out to those who are repeat offenders. Uh, it is also, there are also laws that ensure that heavy vehicle owners maintain the speed limiters in proper working condition. And again, there are penalties for failure to abide by this uh, law. Uh, that said, uh, we are not just stopping there. We are also looking to uh, enhance the punishment in particular MHA recently announced increases in composition sums for road traffic offences, which will take effect on 1st April 2019. And with this change, the composition sum for heavy vehicle drivers who exceed the speed limit by over 31 km per hour will be increased from 200 today to 400. And also, traffic police engages, in, uh, engage, engages uh, heavy vehicle drivers regularly through education, uh, safety dialogues, and various other uh, sessions. Uh, on use of uh, the uh, speed tracking devices, we, that's part of the trial. Uh, in fact, what we have tested the trial was with enhanced features where the owners, the business owners could actually track, off, to track the speed of the vehicles uh, when uh, they are transmitted to the uh, company. So that tracking device again is subject, uh, as I mentioned, they can be tampered with and Tampering is something that is very difficult to detect, and that's why we have quite serious punishment for it. But we will continue to study what we can do better. And on a good note, the, the accidents involving heavy vehicles have in fact decreased. Let me share with the member the figures that we have. Between 2014 and 2018, the number of speeding violations involving heavy vehicles with speed limiters actually decreased by about 37 per cent from 1,000 737 in 2014 to 1,087 in 2018. And the number of spe speeding related accidents involving heavy vehicles decreased too by about 37 per cent from 27 in 2014 to 17 in 2018. But nevertheless, we agree with the member one accident is still too many, and we will see what we can do better in this area. Thank you.